When did he hit like go to like the superstar? Yeah, yeah to you because I feel like to everyone it's really different. For me, it was between um, nothing was the same in views that time in between then. Like he kind of hit a new level where like. Madly. You know, okay. <laughs> 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 nothing was the same. Yeah, I know, but like you think before that he was at the super superstar level like that. Yeah. Do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> It might have been, it might have been like between take care and nothing was the same. But I still think he got, he got bigger from then because that's why views sold so much. Like compared to like take care or nothing was the same because like he was still in terms of superstar. I don't know about his peak in terms of musically, but in terms of being a celeb and everything. I mean, you could argue he's still getting even more like. Yeah, of course. I feel like he came into superstardom. Like some people are slow, but he was kind of just there. Like because mm. like, they say he got rich on a mixtape. Got because his first mixtape like did really well in terms of like publicity and mm. views and whatever. And so he was ready with like the big dogs on forever etc. So I feel like his first wireless headline was probably for me when he hit his super super superstardom. But yeah, I think it's I think it's definitely a lot more early on in terms of just fame and stuff like when, that. When was that? Yeah, when was it? 2015? No, 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 his first, no, no, yeah, his first, 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 I think it was 2013. That was when the weekend came out and they did clear yeah. up. That was when the weekend was his protege. 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 This is what they started beefing over Bella. Drake, when the Drake came in a superstar because Drake had a co sign by Lil Wayne, he was mm. the biggest artist at the time. So he came in and dropped two mixtapes, Comeback Season and Fake Me Later. He was really, he was really there. So by the time he dropped Take Care, Drake was superstar. And and then Take Care just cemented the team. So by the time Nothing Was The Same came out, it was mad anticipation, views. I think in terms of like what he was saying, in terms of like not musically, but him as like, him as yeah, him. more than like just a musical thing. Views, more than, like, views is definitely the, the peak of that because when views came, people people had so we had nothing was the same, and then if you read it's still like 2015, but yeah. people didn't really call, think that as a Drake as a Drake album. So when views came out, everyone was ooh, they're, they're, that, that, I think that's the hack because he saw like a million first week off views, yeah. which wasn't even a great album, but. Actually, it was a good album, but it was it's a bit dressed too. But yeah. personally, for me, when I was like, okay, this Drake guy can do no wrong in my eyes, it's 2015. After he dropped, if you're reading this, as I said, it was, it was nobody really saw it as an actual Drake album, but it was. It was a surprise, it was a surprise drop, nobody heard about it. Any sort of lead up to it, and then he dropped it, and that was like a moment for me. That's what, me personally, I thought this Drake guy is amazing. Yeah. But I'd say, Around like 2011 is when he became Drake, and he was like, you can, you can stop hearing about him. When Kanye and Jay Z are bringing out albums to try and stop him from rising, that's when you know Drake is a problem. Like. Mm. I'm gonna be honest. It took me two years to listen to Take Care, like two years to fully absorb and like appreciate it. Everyone just looked at each other. Did he, you know, when he toured with uh, Take Care, did he do the O2 with Take Care? Or was it only after Nothing Was Because I know he did it 2014 with Nothing Was The Same. I don't, I don't think he, t- he t- did it. Because, yeah, that's my point. Like, there's certain levels to it. Because, okay. like, you can be a big artist and stuff, but, like, it wasn't until just now that Kendrick was doing uh, arena tours around America. Mm. And with, with them, even though people would say um, they've known about Kendrick since even before Good Kid Man City, mm. Section 80, that kind of stuff. Mm. So, like, there's levels to it. I still feel like when it comes to like tours in the arena, it's it's bigger than the impact you have with people because that's like where the business side and stuff like keeps getting in and they're not gonna let someone de- like de- debut tour be a O2 just in case, like just in terms of contingency. But I still think you can kind of make impact without, because look at Kendrick, like even though his first big tour was now, 
I feel like he's been like doing bits like for a long, long, long time. But I don't even feel like Kendrick crossed over around. I don't think I wouldn't say he's been doing bits for a long, That's long time. That's what I'm saying. He's I only just become a superstar. Yeah, yeah. I really think that Dam is what like, has he's, 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 he's big. He's big in yeah. hip hop, but then have, have yeah. go from like someone that's big in hip-hop to everybody knows who he is but even, even like white music. kids were like yeah. bumping swimming pools they might have not known that yeah, it was about yeah, his like true. drunk uncle or they might have not known like the details behind it but they were still like bumping it they were still saying like kendrick they were still reading for example mm. reading is a white festival mm. not that there's anything wrong with that but reading, <laughs> reading is a yeah. white festival and yeah. he had like that take care toward the ot by the way did it yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay, so does everyone here think that Drake has a classic album? I do. Big facts. Yeah. Everyone thinks so? Yeah. yeah. I want to. Okay, so basically, when we were recording for a couple of years, I was really, really sad. Can you learn to understand where you are? You're not going to be able to find Can your kids yeah. be listening to Take Care and be like, yeah. whoa, you people had yeah. solid music? Yeah. So that's why that that's was, that was where it came from. That's the album that, like, undisputed is his best album. It's not my favourite album of his, and I'll never put it above some of my favourite albums, but, mm. like, Musically, it's his best album, production-wise. Just features, everything that's on that is, is flawless. My thing with classics, like you said, your brother's bumping college dropout yeah. 13. A lot of the times we don't realise that they're classics until later on. Like, that's why it's actually a classic. Like, look at the miseducation. Like, yeah. I want to go back to, I think I was like, I have a minus two or zero, <laughs> somewhere between <laughs> them. <laughs> I want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to that time and see what people thought of it then. Because now we're like, listen to it and, and it is timeless, but it takes time to realize something is timeless but then also with take care i think that's actually drake's only album that he's actually properly i i feel done it as an album as in like properly thought about it interlude stuff like that like i just see i think marvin's room mm. crew love mm -hmm. take care and um something else they're back to back mm. like if they they follow after each other like imagine he hearing that mm. like that's impactful <laughs> A little caveat on that Lauren Hill thing. Do you guys feel like um, the miseducation is the value of it is risen in people because it's the only one she has? Yeah. It's not the only one she has. She <laughs> has her MTV plugs. Oh, I don't think people um, sort of hype up miseducation just because it's the only one. Yeah, it I just happens to be the only one. But I think it is as a standalone album is still a classic. So it's not, I, I think it's because of the quality of the album rather than no. because it's her only one, there was no, no one ever witnessed like a fall off. Yeah. It's a bit like when people talk about um, like for example, Tupac or something. Tupac yeah. never had the opportunity to fall off mm. because he died. So he's, it's like, like my friend was saying, imagine if Lil Wayne had died after Carter 3. Mm. He'd be up, people would literally be talking about the guy like he was the greatest <laughs> ever. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, remember, yeah. remember, yeah. remember, yeah. remember yeah. when Lil Wayne came up? He's a good. Yeah. yeah, but people would literally, like he'd be up, they'd yeah, be saying, yeah, yeah, Tupac, yeah. it'd be Tupac, yeah. Biggie, yeah. No uh, way. Wait, because yeah. he never he never had a fall off. He never had us waiting for Carter Five and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a, like with uh, Lauren Hill because she never um because she never dropped another yeah. album. You can't compare it to anything yeah. that it's wasn't that good. There's, so there's enough Lauren Hill music out there to say that yeah she's just a, a great artist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuji's first. Fuji yeah, album yeah exactly that as like, well. That's a solid album. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't really matter how many albums you've got. That album's a classic. Okay. You can't take it away from it. Okay, wait. Does everyone think that TK is the classic? Yeah. yeah. If there was a classic, then it would be okay. TK. Okay. So well, wait, 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 w